Hi, my name is Bobby Dobbs, and I'm the owner of the YouTube channel HD Boxing and MMA. I would like to explain why I think my suspension from the YouTube Monetization Partnership Program should be lifted. First, let me explain who I am. For the past 25 years, I've been a professional boxing matchmaker, promoter, and cornerman in the world of professional boxing. I began collecting and amassing a video collection of boxing fights back in 1996. At the time, I used high-end VHS tapes to record these broadcasts and maintained and stored all my tapes carefully and eventually started recording on DVD. Many of the networks that broadcast these fights are now defunct, and even the larger ones destroyed and reused their master tapes over time to save money and ultimately for storage space. That makes my archive of fights one of the best sources in the world for these old fights. It should also be noted that the vast majority of my uploads are fights from events that my company promoted and staged and are not already on YouTube elsewhere. And none of the classic fights that I've uploaded that are already on YouTube are in the quality that I have uploaded them in. By adding these, I am truly adding something unique to the lexicon of boxing and to YouTube. Not only do I have these fights in their original quality, I've invested heavily in buying the best equipment to digitize them and then work in Adobe Premiere to enhance them and preserve their original aspect ratio. I know that I'm time limited, so I want to address the top videos in terms of views on my channel and show how my quality bests what else is already out there. Here are the top videos in terms of views. My number one is not reused in any way. It is Shannon Briggs versus Rafael Zimbano. This fight occurred on a show that I put on. I paid for the cameraman and I own the exclusive rights. No one else has it on YouTube besides me. Number two is Mike Tyson versus Kevin McBride. I suspect that this is the fight that led to my demonetization because it gained so many views so quickly. But here's why. Every other version of it is faded and blurry and subpar quality. Here are two examples that are the top YouTube searches for the fight. These are several generations old and probably just screen captures from what they could find on the web. Often they don't even bother to correct the aspect ratio. And here is my version. Which of these three would you pick? Number three is Kimbo Slice versus James Wade. Now this one's a cell phone recording that I made with my phone live. No one else has any claim to it whatsoever, so this one's not reused. Video number four, Lewis versus Rockmont. Here is my original recording from the night that it happened. And here is a sampling of others who have uploaded it. The quality difference is stark. My video is clear and unfaded and properly restored and uploaded. What I bring to YouTube is unique and different than the other content that's been previously published. The collection is original, it's properly transcoded, and it serves as a lasting archive to these fights from the past in a way that no one else can display. I ask that YouTube please consider my appeal, and hopefully this helps to demonstrate that my uploads are not the same as existing content, nor reused as a policy prohibits. I have hundreds of tapes in my collection, and pledge to only upload the fights that add something new to YouTube in terms of content or quality. Thank you.